Yo, welcome back to the house where we talk new celebrities and hot topics. All right, listen, I want to go ahead and talk about the crazy things that these housewives are saying. I mean, it's it's deplorable at this particular point in time. Listen, let's start off with the two broke girls podcast. Uh, y'all guess who I'm talking about? Da 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 da. If you said reasonable and evil or reasonable and shady, you're wrong. We're talking about two T's in a pod. Do y'all know who John Mellencamp is? Apparently, he's a musician. Honestly, I didn't know who he was until I met his daughter, Teddy Mellencamp, onto the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And thank God she was fired from that show because it was like watching paint dry. And then Tamara Judge was a fired housewife onto the Real Housewives of Orange County, but then they recently brought her ass back. Okay, kill me now. Right. And they're on their podcast, Two World Girls Podcast. I mean, two T's in a pod. Two T's in a pod, child. And they're talking about how. Uh, Dr. Wendy to you, sweetie, needs to be fired. Well, Wendy is clapping back at the situation because she doesn't really understand why Teddy Mellencamp was all on her dick and is now on the airwaves talking about Dr. Wendy should be fired. Dr. Wendy to you, uh, sweetie, posted this X or tweet and said, got it at Teddy Mellencamp, just wanted my attention. Hashtag, hi, Karen. Okay. And it's DMs. She sent us a, 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 a screenshot of Teddy Mellencamp trying to get in contact with Dr. Wendy to you, sweetie. In October of 2022, she mentioned Wendy in a uh, story. And then in March of 2023, she uh, messaged Wendy and said, Dr. Wendy, hope you're well. Your reunion performance should definitely be taught in Housewives 101, meaning that she did a great job. Teddy Mellencamp is telling Dr. Wendy that she did such a great job at the reunion. She says, would you be able to come on Two T's in the Pod, their Broke Girls podcast, with me and Tamara next Tuesday, March 7th. We love to chat with you. Almost a year later, later on in that year, November 3rd, uh, she said, just bumped into your husband. I'm assuming at, uh, what is that, Uh, BravoCon. Just bumped into your husband walking down the hall. Come on the pod today. We have a suite. We're podcasting from the Four Seasons. And then in today's time, she's talking about some Wendy. She should be fired. Now, listen. If that's your opinion, if the two bro girls podcasts want to have an opinion on who should be fired and who should, you know, stay on the show, then that's fine. Everyone, you know, is entitled to their opinion. But at the same token, I think it's interesting how you were all on Wendy's dick. You was looking all on her puss. I'm not having it today. Teddy Mellencamp fixed her lips to go on to Elon Musk and his ex and say, you got what? Because Dr. Wendy to you, uh, sweetie, said, got it. You at Teddy Mellencamp just wanted my attention. Hashtag Karen. Teddy Mellencamp responded and said, got what? That I wanted you on our podcast before watching this season. Notice that's when the DM stopped, right? You would think with four degrees, you could some, uh, come up with something more original than Karen. Mm. I think the DM stopped, not because you saw her on this current season. Uh, What's your name? Teddy Mellencamp. John Mellencamp's daughter. You nepotism, baby. You nepo, baby. The reason why the DM stopped is because you knew that she didn't want nothing to do with the Two Broke Girls podcast. And you just said, let me stop being a desperate Debbie. Okay, you said, let me stop being desperate. You didn't mention this girl in your stories and reached out to her twice on being on that Broke Down podcast. And you decided, okay, let me have some pride about myself. And really, uh, stop begging this lady to be on my podcast. That's when the DMs uh, stopped, sis. I mean, I'm just saying. Speaking of her housewives who are saying the darndest things, uh, NECA. NEC. Uh. Speaking of two peas in the pod, too, NECA is on the Two Broke Girls podcast talking about Robin Dixon is a great housewife, talking about how she's great for television. We heard a rumor that Robin won't be returning. You know, I genuinely and sincerely love Robin. She is a phenomenal person. She's a great friend. You know, when I started this process, she called me and was like, girl, let me give you the the 411 on all this stuff. So she really like educated me on how things work. I don't know um, what's true or false, but it'd be wise to keep her. She's great TV. NECA, I think we need to go get your head checked. (laughs) Robin Dixon is great for television. Robin Dixon did nothing but embarrass herself for seven, eight years. You know, I love Robin. I think Robin is amazing. I think Robin has contributed to the show. 
in some great ways, but I think it's only been to the demise of our own reputation. Um, I think we could say that Juan Dixon was great for the television, maybe, but I don't even know if that would be a fair statement because the nigga didn't even want to show up to set half the time, barely showed up to the reunions. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I'm not too sure about that situation, NECA. I'm not too sure. And NECA, why is you? I don't know. I'm not feeling that. How do y'all feel about the situation? Do y'all feel like Robin Dixon is great for television? You know, let me not run her all the way down to the ground on this little TV show. I think Robin Dixon had the potential to be a really great housewife if she was more comfortable living her truth. Um, and it just goes to show, um, you know, that she was not really comfortable bearing it all, which is fine. If you want to withhold information that's totally fine but it's definitely going to affect your standing onto the show you know mia when things got really tough for her and it was time for her to expose her entire sham of a marriage uh you know she exposed it onto the tv show unlike robin dixon who went to the five dollar patreon paywall that's the difference between a great housewife who's great for television and a housewife who's trying to save face and um you know I'm not saying one is wrong and one is right. I'm just saying one should stay on the show and one shouldn't. That's all I'm saying. And I would love to see Giselle Bryan and how she um navigates through the group without her bestie, without her one half, without reasonable to her evil. Okay. Last but not least, Portia Williams is out here telling us that the reason why she is filing for divorce is because she did not know about Simon's sketchy, fraudulent past. Mm. Portia, go away from me with this, please. Sis, you told People Magazine that the divorce filing had nothing to do with his immigration status and turns to find out that his immigration status is directly correlated to his sketchy and fraudulent past. It is your duty to bet the person that you are about to marry. I can bet your bottom dollar that Portia did not ask about this man's citizenship. That Portia did not do a background check. That Portia did not ask the right questions. Like, sis, you were so excited to wear, you know, uh, the traditional African Nigerian, you know, hairdresses at the weddings. That you failed to answer or ask, excuse me, the questions that needed answers. Like, are you a fraud? How did you obtain your wealth? Saying I have a petroleum company is not sufficient. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about everything in the comments down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to create a great day.